Hello everybody, my name is Rarkris, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Anniversary Edition, where in the last video we got this spiffy new armor, we slayed a dragon, and we also finished the Temple of Mirak. In not that exact order, but that's what happened. I know I didn't end off here, but this is just where I was when I hit continue, but it is up to date. I just came back over there to get the nice thumbnail, and in this episode we're going to start freeing some stones. Using this nice, f new, fancy, bend will shout. So, Go! we do that, and something magical is supposed to happen. Whoa. Okay, insta save, because my armor and weapon is a little weaker than I'm used to, although we should still be able to kill this thing quite handedly. Oh, wow, Art. I didn't mean to hit you, bro. Okay. Let's throw... One of those in there, I guess. Dude, just everybody back off. I am the Dragonborn. I can handle this. Okay. Yeah, not too difficult. Easier than the fight with the dragon. No, it's not. It's a demon creature from Tentacle Land. Um, anyways. Oh, you know what we should check? Can I finally legendary one-handed? No, it's just not gonna happen, I guess. Okay, whatever. We have to go talk to Storm. Is this a dream? Oh, it is a nightmare, surely. Yeah, this is quite I, a nightmare. I don't know how I got here. Um, you walked over that bridge over yonder, and... Well, first, you probably, like, were sleeping. Then you woke up, opened your door walked out of town, or the village, walked across this nice fancy, nice fancy schmancy bridge, and then walked down to the stone, and that was that. Anyways, I could have fast traveled over here and saved that weird little rambling, but whatever. If you guys enjoy the videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. That's that. Um, forgot to pitch that in there a little earlier, although it's a little like sell outy, but gotta remind people because you know even sometimes I'll be sitting there watching a video that I like and I don't remember to like it until the creator goes hey leave a like so I'm like it works obviously or I'm just that kind of person okay anyways here in the shaman's hut doesn't look as shaman huddy as I would have thought hello Storm. you have prevailed I can feel it your people are free so it is you have proven yourself an ally to the Skull, and so the Skull shall be allies to you. What do we do now? If you have released the Windstone and broken the hold on my people, perhaps you can do the same for the rest of Solstheim. I doubt it will fully stop whatever Mirak is doing, but it may slow his progress. That's not enough. I need to stop Mirak now. I cannot help with that. None here can. You will need the knowledge Mirak himself learned. You will need to learn more about this black book. Tell me more about this book, then. Mirak had this? This does not look like something of the dragon cult. It is a dark thing. Unnatural. I would have nothing to do with it, but the dark elf wizard, Neloth. He came to us some time ago, asking about black books. I believe he knows a great deal about them. Perhaps too much. Seek him out to the south. Be cautious, Dragonborn. There is something else at work here. Um, what happened when I shouted at the Windstone? The power of the stone had been corrupted. It was the source of the influence that had taken control of the skull. Your shout broke whatever evil will controlled the stone and restored its true nature as a conduit of the Allmaker's gifts. Freeing the other stones will diminish whatever dark influence is spreading across Solstein. Other stones? Yes. There are six sacred stones. Wind, water, earth, beast, 
sun and tree. Through them, the oneness of the land is maintained. Freya saw that the tree stone now stands imprisoned in Mirak's new temple. I doubt that you can free it until his power is broken. But you may be able to cleanse the other stones. Even if this does not stop Mirak, it surely will delay his return. Okay. What is your role among the Skull? As shaman of Skull Village, I serve as both a guide and a healer, as well as a keeper of traditions. I also remind the Skull to live as one with nature, and to honor the will of the Allmaker, so that we will be worthy to join him in death. Pretty honorable. Um, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna... For men. Sorry, Freya, I cut you off there. My apologies. Oh yeah, here is Baldor. May the Allmaker protect the weapons us of the skull. Um, I guess just what do you have for sale type thing. Now, isn't wasn't Baldur a Norse god who was, you know, like a great craftsman? Isn't that a thing? I swear it's a thing. I can't be that crazy, can I? I totally can be. Please don't answer that question. I know the answer myself already. He doesn't have any gold. Come on. Mm -hmm. Um, alright. I don't want to go cl talk to Neloth. I kind of want to do this right now. Or I could do this. Let's do March of the Dead first. Because I want to get this all out of the way before I kill Mirak, I feel like. Although Mirak's like... Okay, if I'm thinking from my character's perspective, you know, Mirak would be the priority. But... So would General Falks carry us because he's putting you know, immediate threat on the town while I can delay Mirak's threat, I guess is how I'm gonna rationalize. Still raining, really? Oh, you know what? I can not have that happen. I always forget about Clear Sky Shout. Oh, and now, mmm, nice and clear. Let's whip out. That weapon again. What is it? Star and Battle Art. Eh, I'm not doing that. I'm trying to get my Unrelenting Force back. God. Today is a day. How are you? There is a flag over here. I need to investigate. How's your guys' day going? I don't really have any specific questions to ask you. Just, you know, how you doing? How's your week? This video is going up on Wednesday, so it'll be halfway through the week. How you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Um... Again, I would like to say thank you for how well the video I uploaded Saturday did. It was awesome. It's still getting a ton of views. I am very, very grateful. It's just, it's really cool, you know? Makes me proud of myself for working hard on something. Whoa, Ash Hopper, right? Yep. Serana, you know, you don't have to resurrect every dead body you find. It's a little disrespectful. Yeah, I guess that's just a dead reaver. He's got that. Okay, here's another one. Yeah, excellent teamwork, Serana. Some good loots. Um, I feel like there's supposed to be something unique up here, wouldn't you think? Or are they just staking this out? It's like, this is our little tiny island. Where did they get the logs from? Who's they? Um, anyways, this is gonna be really lazy, but... It's so much quicker. You're a reaver. Nobody likes you. Plus, I don't like walking around with a dead body fo Oh, you're welcome! See, I was doing him a favor. I'm such a sweet, sweet guy. No wonder you all love me. Oh, and thank you for the comments on yesterday's video. I asked, like, why you guys enjoy watching my videos. And the comments were so sweet and nice. Made me feel really good, <laughs> not gonna lie. It's cool to just hear, like, you know, a lot of you... You know, it's like, I just like listening to you. It feels like I'm playing the game with a friend in the room or something like that. And it's like, yeah, that... That means a lot. I like it. I appreciate it. So, thank you very much. Okay, bunch of crazy stuff going on up there. 
but what we are looking for is this fort, which is Fort Frostmoth, which actually is the first place that you arrive in Morrowind's Blood Moon DLC. Yes, that's it. I need to play Morrowind, like, through and through. Because I haven't yet. I haven't completed anything in it, really. I've put, like, 70 hours total into the game throughout characters. But I have never finished, like, the main quest. I've never finished any of the guilds. Which is a disappointment, honestly. It's one of those things that I start and I play for, like, 10, 15 hours. Then I'm like, oh, okay. I just get on to something else. And honestly, lately, I haven't had much time to just play video games, really. So, yeah, there's that as well. You know, just juggling school, this, trying to work out, doing other things, you know, sleeping. It's so, so taxing. Not really. I have a really easy life, guys. Don't let me pretend and act like it's terrible and I'm stressed out. I'm not stressed out. It's just, you know, there's a lot of stuff to balance, so. It's about finding the perfect balance. And as this channel grows, it becomes more and more of a priority because I do not want to let it die. I've been uploading consistently for over a year now, which is so crazy to think about. Which is honestly really, really cool, too. Um, anything else? So I guess into the fort now, or into, like, the main area. So yeah, usually, like, that's the dock, right? Obviously. And you'd come up into this fort, and you would walk through the gates or whatever, but it's like half buried now. Men, an invader has entered the fort. Prepare yourselves for an ambush. Oh, he's up there. I never really realized that. That's actually cool. Fort Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire. What happens if I just... Hmm, I don't know. I don't think I got him. I always just thought somehow he was just, his voice was echoing out over, I don't know. I should have always figured that. We're gonna have to rely a little bit more now on our um, restoration magic, just because we're gonna take more damage with the unenchanted armor. Like I said previously, I should probably start working on smithing and enchanting to buff the armor, at least the enchanting. but. Smithing and enchanting kind of go hand in hand. Although I don't really have like a ton of soul gems. Maybe I'll just rock with it. Whatever. Yeah, I have quite a few, but I need it to re-up my weapon. Or recharge, I guess is the proper word. Hello! These things always remind me of a specific... Okay. So, you know, Scooby-Doo. Like the original, original version from like late 60s, early 70s. There's one episode where they're like in a swamp looking for a Brinks truck that got took in the swamp. They're trying to figure out like what took it into the truck, you know, or what took the truck and stole the money. And there's this weird like zombie dude who looks almost exactly like the Ash Spawn. Well, I guess the Ash Spawn look almost exactly like him. You know, what? I'll throw up a picture of it right here. And let me know if you guys agree. I knew I heard something. Anyways, I don't know why I went quiet all of a sudden there. It's like I just... Oh, that's the video. No, it's not the video. Come on, man. Know your place. But how do you not get stunned when... How much does this thing weigh? It's gotta be a lot, right? Well, we're leveling up fast now. 25 chunk of it. 25. Just a 25 chunk. That makes total sense, right? Right. Okay. I'm glad that you guys agree with me. That's one thing that's great about these videos is you guys can't talk back. You can't, like, call me out when I'm stupid. No, you totally can. There's a comment section. I'm just the best Skyrim player ever, and that's what I'm going to get this in first try. Whoop. Oh, you got to be joking. That was ridiculously close. There we go. Second try. Close enough. Take all of those things. Man, her eyes look so weird now that she's not a vampire. They're like glowing yellow, like cat eyes. 
So I guess this is where Falx Carius ran back down? No, definitely not, right? No, huh? Is it? Go? No, he was over there. And I bet there's a trap door over there that's gonna be like locked. Let's kill this guy. Ooh, there's another fort over there. I think I remember what that one is though, so. I'm not gonna explore over there. Oh, I can't even get over. You know what, Serana, back in the trap door. Let's go. Alright, did you follow me? You better have followed me. Nope, she's out there just going to town. Whatever, to each their own. She can do whatever she wants. She's an independent... I was about to say young woman, but Serana is quite literally like thousands of years old, so definitely not a young woman. Anyways. Hmm... I don't know if we're going to get done with this entire place. Well, I have 14-ish minutes to do it, so maybe we will. And I have to recharge this already. This thing takes a lot more to do. Oh my god. You would think this frost damage would do an extreme amount of damage to them. But it doesn't. Wow, we are leveling up so fast now. It's kind of a shame I didn't switch to a two-handed weapon sooner than I did, honestly. I thought I just heard Serana talk. Oh, yep, I did. Welcome back. Excuse me. I burped. Okay. Spiders, I hate these things. Not because they're scary, but because they will kill you so f Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna die right here. Okay, this is a cloaked one, so it's not gonna jump at me. Serana, I'm dying. Just wanted to let you know. No reason, really. Other than to just generally inform you. Okay, albino spider. Yeah. Wimp. Yeah, that sure taught him, Serana. I'm sure he learned quite the valuable lesson that it's going to for remember forever and ever and ever. Nothing interesting in here? That's a darn shame. Juke out, Serana. Oop. Here with that stutter step. Okay. Serana, stop summoning things. What did I say? We need to have a talk. And not about anything important, just, you know, m why do I never remember, why, like, why do I have no recollection of this existing? Huh. Best Skyrim player in the world is stumped here, guys. Kind of? I don't know. Closer? Oh, come on. Alright, see you when I get this. Alright, it was only a couple more seconds after I said I would cut it, but I still will because it's just a weird little awkward pause and nobody likes those. We're gonna have mending. Health faster. Nah. I don't even know why I took it. I'm not gonna remember to sell it. I'm terrible when it comes to stuff like that. There's a broom. Sadly, no blade attached. Um... So, yeah, I totally missed this cool, unique weapon on Worm's Tooth, the bladed broom, similar to... Okay, requires a key. Similar to that weird, like, giant's club. Um, it was just a bladed broom. Seemed pretty cool, but, like I said, I missed it. Oh, well. No use crying over spilled milk. Oh, or is it... Ooh, no. Close. Okay. And it was teamwork right there, Serana. I keep getting so many texts. What the crap? Eh, that makes sense. Never mind. I'm, I'm such a person to, like, text somebody, forget I texted them, and then get a text back and be like, who is texting me? It's like, the person that you asked the question. Fort Frostmoth Key, Potion of Healing, um, a journal, Ildari's journal. 
which I'm going to have to read. Nice enchanted glass sword. Not really useful to me, though. Okay, let's read the journal. How long is it? Okay, six pages. Easy. Day 32. It's been almost a month since unearthing the crypt at Fort Frostmoth, and I haven't seen a single spark of life in the general's remains. Grafting the heartstone to the subject is proving much more difficult than I originally anticipated. I've used almost every method I can think of, and still, there's no sign of reanimation. At this rate, it could be years before I make any progress, which is time that I just can't afford right now. If my vengeance is to come to perf fruition, I need results. If not, I may need to resort to more drastic measures. What would more drastic measures be? Day 47, it finally appears that I am making some progress. After my latest experiment, General Carius' eyes briefly opened, and he moved his arms. It lasted for less than a few moments, but it's the first signs of progress I've seen since I arrived here. A few of my assistants were insisting that I was imagining things, but I dismissed them for their insolence. They won't be bothering anyone ever again. Day 55. General Carius woke fully today. He bolted upright after my incantations and began staggering around like a blind man. He seems to ignore my commands. In fact, hearing my voice seems to increase his hostility. I was able to remove the heartstone before he became violent, but this isn't a result that I expected. Even though he's able to be awakened, I feel as though the real work has just begun. Day 59. The general is still un able or unwilling to listen to my commands. He's acting increasingly paranoid and appears to have his own free will. He's convinced that I am a spy or the enemy, and I've had to restrain him to prevent him from outright attacking me. This is becoming intolerable. I'm beginning to wonder if someone with a heartstone can be commanded at all. If my experiments with General Carius fail, I may have to report to self-experimentation. And that was a resort, not report. I'm dumb. Something I've been avoiding for a long time. Okay. So, he was resurrected by ill whatever her name was. I already forgot. Um, sorry. Not sorry, really. It's just me. Whatever. So, now we must go put an end to this reanimated corpse. And last but not least, I have to make another save. Hello, General Carius. And I just remembered that I want something from you very, very badly. So how should we start this? I mean, he is a tougher cookie, so... Is there any potions that would be useful here? Probably just resist fire for ash spawn. I'm here, dude. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was unexpected. Huh. That really just happened, didn't it? Yeah, me neither, Serana. I just got my brains bashed in in a different lifetime. So, I guess I'll start it like this. Did he just try to sidestep that? I should have waited until I was closer to shout at him. Yeah, it really is. Oh, no. Oh, I blocked it. Expert fighting. Serana, keep the ash spawn off me. Healing potion. Just so I can take one hit. Use this too. I did not need to use that potion, whatever. Oh, nope. Hit that level up mid-battle. You know it. Get some extra damage up in here. Stop doing that. And I need to use more healing potions again. Whoa, Sarana, you're doing a terrible job. I'm trying not to die here in case you didn't notice. No, you don't. Okay. Get out of here. These things are tough. Hmm. Dodge. Yes, this is what I want. The Champion's Cudgel. 50% chance for each element of Fire, Frost, and Shock to do 25 points of damage. Also known as the Chaos Enchantment. Nice, slow-swinging, powerful Warhammer. 
which I have never used. Oh, and of course the first enemy I fight resists the chaos damage. That's just excellent. Okay, thank you for dying. So much loot that I shouted about. Oh, book. If I read that. Just because it gives me a little... No, it didn't. Never mind. Don't you... Oh, I think I have to be like level 35 for that to kick in. But we will get there quickly. Okay. So we have a few minutes. So I'm definitely going to go turn this quest in. Such a beautiful place. Look at the red mountain over there. The big mushrooms. You know, sometimes I wish I could see places like this in real life, you know? There's just an army of Skull getting ready to fight a netch. They're... It's so gorgeous. Violence. Gotta love it. Let's go see if they're successful. Okay, I'll be the mediator in this hunt. Remember, elbows must stay placed. We have come south to test our worth against the mighty Netch. Will you join us? Think you'll win the fight? A warrior expects nothing, and therefore is ready for anything. If our aim and our hearts are true, the Owlmaker will grant us strength. If not, today is as good a day to die as any other. Either way, they will sing songs of our bravery around the campfires for many years. Yeah, I'll join you. Well met, friend. May we all fight or die well. Okay, I have genuinely never seen this random encounter. I can't believe that two of you missed. Although, I feel a little bad just randomly slaying this bull netch, but whatever. Why is everything that I'm fighting just resisting my chaos damage? Okay. Yeah, like I said, never seen this before. Very interesting. Also, you want to know something funny? Yeah, you eat the, the netch jelly and you just faint. Not faint, you're paralyzed. Okay, anybody got something to say? It was a good hunt. Oh yeah, excellent. They all have the same voice. Our yep, huh? they all have the same voice. Gotta love Skyrim. Anyways, back to Captain... Hmm. Veleth? Right? I think. I don't know what you're playing at, Glover. Yes. But something about you just doesn't add up. Understandable, considering the differences between us. I'm not talking about that. I have a knack for smelling trouble. Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere. I promise you, I have nothing but good intentions towards everyone in this town. Okay. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? I killed General Carius. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Carius's exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. Yeah, he'll no longer send Ash spawn to Raven Rock. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Carius. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. Oh, I love money. 2500 that's pretty good. All right, everybody. This is where I'm going to wrap up this episode, just because it makes sense, even though usually I'd go for another minute or two. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure, leave a like, and subscribe. And, as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.